Well, the Apple I microcomputer is the very first computer designed by Steve Wozniak so he could have his own personal computer, and an inexpensive computer he could sell to other hobbyists. He teamed up with Steve Jobs to sell this computer, and he was also working at Hewlett Packard at the time. And he asked Hewlett Packard if they wanted to sell the computer, and they said no, he could have all the rights to it. So Steve Wozniak had all the rights to sell his Apple I and proceed to develop the Apple Computer Company to be one of the largest companies in the world. How do you determine the value of an Apple I computer? Well, there are a number of ways to tell the estimated value because the value varies a lot depending on the documentation with the computer and the condition of the computer, if it's been modified, how many replacement parts it has, and so forth. But let's go back a little in history. It started out selling for $666.66. Then they were taken into the factory, a few of them as the Apple II came out, and uh, there were some left in uh, use. And we've ended up with about 36 to 40 uh, original Apple Ones. Well, they've sold over the years, moving up in value. And since about 1990, they've been selling in values between 10,000, 20,000, occasionally $50,000. And uh, I've heard of some being traded for vans and automobiles. And so typically the price range in the recent years has been in the twenty to $50,000 per unit. Well, very recently in November of 2010, Christie's auctioned off an Apple I computer with some very nice documentation, original letter from Steve Jobs and other things for $213,000. So it's the old story of whatever collectors are willing to pay. It was an Italian collector paid $213,000 approximately for his Apple I, which actually incidentally had a replacement microprocessor chip in it, but that didn't affect the value and it was documented to be an original, uh, not a stolen unit. Uh, there was some talk that that it may have been a stolen unit, but it wasn't. The story is, and I believe it's true, that that particular computer was purchased on eBay for about $50,000 uh, a year or two prior putting it on the market at risk Christie. So you have the high end of $213,000 and the low end was around $20,000. Now that bar has been uh, raised up a lot. So, you know, computers are worth anywhere between thirty dollars and $200,000 now, depending on uh, the condition, how many replacement parts, the history, the number of documentation items you have with the computer. So it's a little hard to tell, but it's in that range. So they're worth uh, quite a significant amount of money.